All right, boys and girls, I have some really exciting news. Last night, both Mrs. Pepper and Mrs. Phillips won some money. And you can see here on the screen the money that Mrs. Pepper won and the money that Mrs. Phillips won. So I want you to ask yourself, who won more money? I want you to take a second to think about it. I'll give you a second. And on the count of three, I want you to point to the person on the screen who you think won more money. One two, three, go. All right, well, let's see what your guess is. I will reveal the answer right now. If I'm going to use a symbol for comparing numbers, I think you guys know the greater than symbol, the less than symbol. Hopefully you remember that the mouth is always open to the greater number. So if the greater number is on the left, the mouth is going to open that way. If the greater number is on the right, the mouth is going to open that way. So I'm going to reveal who won the greater amount of money last night. One, two, three. Oh my goodness gracious. It was Mrs. Pepper. But how could that be? If you look at the picture, clearly it looks like Mrs. Phillips won more. So let me explain to you this magic. All right, if you take a look here, this is showing us the actual money that Mrs. Pepper and I won. And I'm going to reveal the big bucks that I won. First of all, I won many, many bills here. And you can see these are $1 bills. And if you count the number of $1 bills that I won, I won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I won eight $1 bills. But that's not it. I also won some $10 bills. So if you take a look, I also won some $10 bills in my winning. So if I go ahead and count how many that is, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I won nine $1 bill, or excuse me, nine $10 bills. So if you take a look, in total, Mrs. Phillips won a total of $98. Woo! But Somehow I told you that Mrs. Pepper won more money. And if you take a look here at the money that she won, there's only three bills here. So how could that be? Take a second to think, how in the world could Mrs. Pepper have more money when she doesn't even have nearly as many bills as I do? I have a total of 17 bills. I have eight $1 bills, 10, 10, or nine $10 bills. Mrs. Pepper only has three measly bills. How could that be? Let's see. We're going to start with her $1 bills. Nowhere close to how many $1 bills as I have. You can see she only has two $1 bills. Compared to my eight, I totally won that one. Now let's take a look at Mrs. Pepper's $10 bills. She doesn't have any $10 bills. I actually have to fill a zero in that place value. But what Mrs. Pepper has that I don't have is this guy right here. Take a look. She won a single $100 bill, which gives Mrs. Pepper a total, if you look at that number, of $102, which we know is greater than $98. So hopefully what you're going to realize is, even though the digits in my number are bigger, Digit is not the only thing that matters when comparing numbers. We have to worry about digit and place value, where those digits are located. Digit and place value combined, that's what gives us the value of a number. So, if you take a look here, you can see our lovely faces. Mrs. Pepper has $102, Mrs. Phillips only $98. Who has the greater amount of money? The correct answer here is Mrs. Phillips. No, just kidding. Mrs. Pepper. I wanted to be the winner, but I wasn't. So Mrs. Pepper won, even though the digits are smaller. So we are going to be learning a song later on. And the song, I call it the COAS song. And COAS, you will learn, stands for comparing, ordering, adding, and subtracting. And those are the four skills in math that 
all use the same strategy. And that strategy goes right along with a song that you guys are going to learn. And it's called Line Em Up. And it goes like this. You might have heard this before. Line em up, 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 line em up, 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 line em up, 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 I'm on fire. I can't reach that high note. Maybe you can. We'll try it again. Line em up, 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 line em up, 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 line em up, 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 I'm on fire. Now, that rule, that strategy of line them up is super duper important. By the way, in case you didn't know, that is not a real word. That stands for the word them. So really what the song is saying is line them up. And what we mean by them is we mean that we need to line up our place values. Because when we compare numbers, we want to compare it place value by place value by place value. Let me show you what I mean. If I take Mrs. Pepper's $102, you can see she had two $1 bills, no $10 bills, and $100 bill. If I take my amount of money that I purchase and I line them up incorrectly, now it looks like something strange. I had nine $10 bills, but even nine $10 bills is not worth as much as $100 bill. We know from the song, greater to the left, lesser to the right. As we move left in our place value parking lot, the values are going to get greater and greater and greater. And therefore, it is more important to us what digits are furthest to the left because they're going to be worth more. And that song, Line Em Up, is going to be key. You'll notice right now I've lined up the ones place of Mrs. Pepper's amount with the ones place of my amount. I've lined up the tens place of Mrs. Pepper with the tens place of mine. And I've lined up the hundreds place of Mrs. Pepper with the, I have a blank space. But I know from that place value wrap, I can put something in blank spaces, something that means the same as nothing. And that something is a, a zero. Remember, I didn't have any $100 bills. So now it's time for me to compare these two numbers. And since the greater amount matters more than the lesser amount, it doesn't matter that I had eight $1 bills and Mrs. Pepper only had two because $1 bills aren't worth very much. We're going to start all the way to the left at the hundreds place. And if I look at the hundreds place, I can see right away that the hundreds place is different. Mrs. Pepper has one. I have none. So that's going to be our deciding place value. Now I have to decide which is the greater digit. Is one worth more or is zero worth more? And I think we all know that one is worth more than zero. And so we know that 102 as a whole number is greater than 98. I'm going to show you one more example of line them up. So I'm going to take this number with all of its place values labeled, and I'm going to take this other number and I'm going to line them up. And you'll notice the ones place is lined up with the ones place, the tens with the tens, hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands. And you'll notice that when you do that correctly, you'll notice our commas get lined up too. That means you've done a great job. So now I'm going to start all the way to the left, greater to the left. I'm going to start over here and I'm going to look at that thousands place value. And I see they both have one thousand, which means the thousands place doesn't help us. So now I'm going to move to the hundreds place. And if you look down the hundreds place value, I can see a difference. One has a two, one has a three. So I'm going to circle this place value in both of my numbers because this is going to be the place value that helps me decide the greater number. Now I have to decide which digits greater, a two, or a three, the three. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle the entire number that holds that three because that entire number has now proven to be the greater number overall. And I'm going to have the mouth open to that greater number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause so that I can start a new video from fresh with a lot more examples. Great job.